Hey, my name is Laurel Snyder, and I am a children's book author in Atlanta, Georgia, and I write all sorts of books. I write picture books, and I write children's novels, um, and I wanted to read you guys a story today, but first I thought I'd mention that it's kind of a funny time here, isn't it? We're spending a lot of time in our houses and in our yards, and in some ways it's a really interesting time to be somebody who makes up stories, because... Um, even when you can't leave your house and you can't go anywhere, you can use your imagination to do things and go places. And so I want to read you a story today called Charlie and Mouse Outdoors. Um, and the reason I thought I'd read this one is because it is about my little boys. I live at home. Now, right now we're all spending a lot of time together. Um, I live at home and work at home with my boys. And their names are, their real names are Moe's. And Lewis, but in this book, their names are Charlie and Mouse. And Charlie and Mouse are very, very good at imagination. They are very good at picturing the world a little different than it is. And I thought I would read the story to you guys today and suggest that maybe if you're out there and you can't go anywhere and you can't do anything, that now would be a really good time to really exercise your imagination and maybe build a pillow fort or imagine that you are going to the beach or uh, to the zoo or someplace like that that you can't go right now. Um, and I know you, you may or may not want to write those stories down. Maybe you want to draw a picture about the things that you imagine. Maybe you want to tell somebody that you live with the story that you imagine when you're done imagining it. Um, but this can be a really good time. As hard as this is in some ways, as frustrating as it is when you want to go outside and play and you can't, um, this can be a really good time for, for using that part of your brain. Uh, so I often suggest to people that it's a good idea to like go sit under the dining room table or make a fort, like I said before, or um, maybe there's a stair in your house that you especially like. like. The third stair from the top is your favorite stair and you go and sit in your special place or like the back of your closet maybe, um, a place that nobody else likes to go and sit and then just turn your imagination on. So I'm going to read you a story about Charlie and Mouse outdoors. I thought it might be nice to read about outdoors since a lot of books are stuck inside. So this is a little chapter book. It has four little stories, and the first one is called Boring. Do you guys know anything about being bored right now? Charlie was in the car. Mouse was in the car. Charlie and Mouse were in the car. This is boring, said Charlie. Why don't you make up a story, asked Dad. Stories aren't boring. I will try, said Charlie. The car went over a great green mountain. Once upon a time, said Charlie, there was a great green mountain. Then what happened, asked Mouse. I do not know, said Charlie. I will think about it. And there's the car. The car went past a small white house. Once upon a time, said Charlie, there was a small white house near a great green mountain. So the story he's making up is just the things that he sees out the window. Then what happened, asked Mouse. Charlie sighed. I do not know. It is hard to make up a story. The car went past a field. There was a hawk over the field. The hawk had something wriggling in its mouth. Once upon a time, said Charlie, there was a hawk and something was wriggling in its mouth. Ooh, said Mouse. Then what happened? The wiggling thing turned out to be a dragon, said Charlie. Well, then what happened, asked Mouse. The dragon and the hawk had a, hawk had a battle in the sky. The dragon spit fire and they both flapped their wings so hard it started raining. Suddenly it began to rain. Oh my, said Mom. Quick, Charlie, said Mouse. Tell us a different story. Once upon a time, said Charlie, Dad stopped the car, and we had french fries, and the rain stopped. I like this story, said Mouse. Chapter 2, The Hike. Would you like to be able to go on a hike right now? I sure would. A hike, a hike. It was time for a hike. Charlie and Mouse walked along the stream. Mom and Dad walked, too. There was a trail. The trail was pine needles and bits of sun. Charlie found a stick. Mouse found a stick. They were very good sticks. 
I don't know if you like to collect sticks, but Charlie has a stick that looks like this, and Mouse has a stick that looks like that. Now, said Charlie, this is our land, and we must defend it from bad guys. Charlie and Mouse defended the land. Now, said Mouse, we are in monster country, and the monsters are coming. Monsters, be gone, said Charlie. Charlie and Mouse fought the monsters. Oh, no, look, said Mouse, pointing into a bush. See that bush? Good eye, said Charlie. We must be careful. Danger is all around us. What is it now, asked Mom. A lion, said Mouse, a hungry one. Oh, no, said Dad. Will you save us? Save yourselves, shouted Charlie. He ran at the bush. Ah! Whew, said Mouse when the battle was over. That was a close one. See, and Mouse, is, the Mouse and Charlie are tired out. My strength is fading, said Charlie. Mine too, said Mouse. He sat on a rock. Would a granola bar help, asked Dad. It might, said Mouse. Mouse ate a granola bar. Charlie ate a granola bar. Look, said Charlie, I see a turtle. Yes, said Mom. Look, said Mouse, I see a mushroom. Yes, said Mom. Look, said Charlie, I see a pig? Pig, shouted Mouse. He jumped a pig, shouted Charlie. The pig snorfled off. So they have run into a wild pig in the hike. And the reason they did this is because they live in Hawaii. The pictures in this book, I wrote the story in Atlanta, but my illustrator is from Hawaii. And where she lives, they don't have snakes and things like that. So she put a pig in the story. The pig snorfled off. There are pigs here, asked Mouse. You did not say there would be pigs. Charlie and Mouse ran back to the tent. They zipped it up tight. Chapter three, kittens. I did not like that pig, said Mouse. No, said Charlie, I did not like it either. What else do you think is out there? Mouse asked. Other scary stuff? Try not to think about it, said Charlie. I cannot help it, said Mouse. Yes, you can, said Charlie. You just need to think of something else. Like what, asked Mouse. Something not scary, said Charlie, like swinging on a swing. Sometimes swinging is scary to me, said Mouse. Oh, said Charlie. Well, how about swimming? Swimming is always a little bit scary to me, said Mouse. You know what isn't ever scary, asked Charlie. Kittens. That's true, said Mouse. Kittens are little and fuzzy. They are not scary at all. Let's think of kittens, said Charlie. Okay, said Mouse. So now Charlie and Mouse are turning on their imaginations because they want something that will be comforting and fun. And so they're going to have some kittens in their imagination. And here they are. These are their kittens. Oh, I see a kitten, said Mouse. He's orange and nice. He is nice. My kitten is gray, said Charlie. My kitten is named Smoke. My kitten is named Ginger, asked Mouse. Ginger and Smoke, said Charlie. Ginger and Smoke, said Mouse. Look, said Charlie, Smoke is chasing his tail. Silly Smoke. Look, said Mouse, now Ginger has the zoomies. He is zoomy. Smoke has the zoomies too, said Charlie. He's zooming on me. Now Smoke is jumping on Ginger, said Mouse. Watch out, Ginger, I'll save you. Then crash went the tent. That, said Charlie, was a little bit scary. Yes, said Mouse. It was, but it was also a lot of fun. And here's our last story. It's called The Fire. So that's the end of the hiking trip. It was getting dark. Is it time? asked Charlie. Yes, said Dad. It's time. Charlie and Mouse sat on big rocks near the fire. Mouse brought Blanket. Blanket is in all the stories. Blanket has never seen a fire, said Mouse. Mom lit the match. Charlie and Mouse watched. First the little sticks caught fire. Then the big sticks caught fire. The sky got darker. Dad handed out marshmallows. Mouse ate his. Charlie put his marshmallow on a stick. He held it in the fire. 
Do not hold it so close to the fire, said Dad. It will burn. I know what to do, said Charlie. Charlie's marshmallow burst into flame. Charlie blew on it. The flame went away. The marshmallow was black and crinkly. Do you need a new marshmallow? asked Dad. Charlie shook his head. No, I like them like this. You do? asked Mouse. Charlie ate the black marshmallow. It turned out he did like them like that. Then the fire crackled. Bugs chirped. An owl made a hoo sound. Mouse leaned against Mom. Charlie leaned against Dad. After a while, Charlie said, Does anyone want to tell a story? Nobody answered. Charlie looked around. Charlie smiled. Charlie whispered. Once upon a time, he said, everyone was very, very happy. The end. So that is the end of Charlie and Mouse Outdoors. Um, this is the fourth book in a series of books called Charlie and Mouse that are all about the little adventures that my kids have had over the years in our lives. And now we are all having a new adventure. We are having a new adventure where we spend a lot of time together in our houses. And sometimes we go out in the yard. If you have a yard, that's a nice thing to do. Um, and every now and then we take a little walk. But there are treats and we use our imaginations. We tell each other stories and we spend a lot of time keeping each other company. And I hope that you are doing some of that right now. And I wish you all the very, very best with all of this in this crazy time. Um, and uh, I hope you will enjoy more stories and all sorts of stories uh, from Get Georgia Reading. Thanks so much, guys.